Infinix Note 40 Pro Plus 5G is here. This could be the biggest release for 2024 in the first half. Now, sa sobrang bongga ng launch na to, pinadala pa kami sa Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. Ito. You know, the Twin Towers of Peso. The joke lang. Petronas po yan. Yung sa Harry Potter. But yes, the Infinix Note 40 Pro Plus 5G could mark the change in how we use a smartphone because for the first time ever, sobrang nag-focus si Infinix sa charging dito. It even has a dedicated charging chip na pangalan ay Cheetah X1. Ito yun na, meron siyang 100 watt fast charging. Wired. Meron pa siyang 20 watts wireless charging, meron pa siyang mag-safe charging or mag-power charging, pwede na dumikit yung power bank sa likod ng parang magnet ng ganyan, meron pa siyang reverse charging, kapag meron ka pa isang Infinix Note 40 Pro Plus 5G, ipagdikit mo lang yan, mag-charge sila ng dalawa. Vault in. And they even included two charging technologies right here to. Akala nyo, ito na yung box, ito pala yung box, cover lang po siya. And, sa likod niya, meron charging pad, calling it the MagPad Wireless Magnetic Charger. Meron pa siyang MagPower Wireless Charger plus portable battery, power bank na magnet. And apart from the charging, ginalingan pa nila sa performance. Guys, this thing has a Dimensity brand new 7020 5G processor. Finally, bago na. Dira G99, 6080. Tapos guys, meron pa siyang 3D curved 120Hz AMOLED display na Corning Gorilla Glass 5 material. Yung itsura niya, Infinix 035G, sobrang mabenta kasi ng design na yan. Meron pa siyang 108MP OIS Super Zoom Cam, sound by JBL dual speakers, at balita ko meron siyang 1,500Hz touch sampling rate, sobrang smooth, and highly sensitive daw yung kanyang touch. Perfect for mobile gaming. Grabe na yan ha. Sobrang ginaling. Pati sa box ginalingan. Shiny yung box. Look at that. Pero unbox natin siya. Kapag si Benson, you're watching Unbox Diaries. Woohoo! <laughs> Same box, no? 24 gigs of RAM, 256 gigabytes of internal storage, sound by JBL, sa baba 100 watts all around, fast charge 2.0, and inside, uy, nice box. My icon and charging. And inside, we're getting a small box, SIM ejector pin. We've got here, uy, sticker ang ganda. Panglagay sa laptop nyo. Meron siyang tempered glass nakasama. Yung pang install ng tempered glass, pero talaga. Guys, sobrang natuwa ako sa ginawa ni Infix dito, which is yung kanyang casing. Look at that. This is no ordinary casing. This casing is what makes this phone do more. Kasi, so the phone, let me reveal to you right now. Ooh, 035G ko ba yan? Pero mas more guys. The same quality, powerful display you found on the 035G. Pero, mas improved siya kasi nga dahil doon sa kanyang touch sampling rate. Mas pang gaming daw itong display. Wala na daw ghost touching. Titignan natin kasi nga curve po siya. Alam nyo naman kapag curve, baka may sakit sa gilid. Uy, ang bright. Wow. Pero ito yung sinasabi ko. Yung casing plus ito, vault in mo. Ay, wow. Mas pumogi pa siya. I think, hindi ko siya gagamitin without the casing. Kasi guys, itong mag power charger. Na I think na pwede lang sa mga iPhones, ay pwede na rin kay Infinix Note 40 Pro Plus 5G. Wow, look at that. Pero guys, magbula yung casing. Oh no. So, ibig sabihin, kalamo talaga yung casing. And, din mo yan, sobra yung kapit niya. <laughs> O diba? Nagigil pa ako. Pero may yan. Sa ilalim ng box, we're getting so much more. Magulo ito ka. Ang daming laban ito ah. Dito, meron pang icon dito. We are getting a USB Type-C pair of earphones. At yung kanyang cable. Now, this cable is special kasi nga matas yung kanyang amperes para sa 100 watt fast charger. Hindi sinabi ko ilang amperes pero matas yan. Kasi included in the box, yun dapat. 100 watts fast charger guys. Para ito palang talong-talong na si 035G. No? Charging display tech. At meron pa siyang pailaw sa likod. Namukhang Siri. O diba may pailaw na sa likod? Hmm, speaking of. 1, 2, 3. Bukora Light Portrait 5.0. Hindi dyan. Kay Vivo pala yan. <laughs> oh, ganda. Grabe yung light sa mukha ko, guys. Well, right now, wala masabi, no? Kinakabahan talaga si Xiaomi dito. Now, first things first is yung kanyang design. The design of this thing is very reminiscent of the Infinix 035G. Which is medyo naging skeptical ako. Kasi nga, kung gaming phone yung kanyang marketing dito, hindi ito yung shape ng isang gaming phone. Kasi nga, alam nyo naman, kapag ka-curved display, baka may ghost touching involved. But we will see later. Ito pa yung vintage green. At meron pa siyang obsidian black. And coming soon, meron pa siyang racing edition. Yung kay BMW. Now, the vintage green I have here has a leather back design. Vegan leather na to. And yung obsidian black is feeling ko glass yun. The camera module is golden plated. Even the sides are gold. Tapos sa harap, uy, sobrang sagad naman yung kanyang mga bezels dito. Punch hole, medyo malaki. Kaya lang guys, napansin ko, medyo kakaiba yung kanyang pagka-curve dito. Hindi siya super curvy like the 035G. Also, napansin ko guys, is mas rectangular yung shape niya. Which is mas perfect for gaming. Napapansin ko yung mga gaming 
bones, mas rectangular yung shape at less rounded. Ayun yung sa tenga pa lang, oh. kitang kita mo na parang mas squarish yung dating niya dito. Tapos meron siyang 55 degree perfect curve daw. Kaya pala medyo kakaiba siya compared kay 035G. Overall, mas malapad siyang tingnan, mas malawak siya, mas komportable yung kamay ko when playing games. This is a much more improved design. Nakala ko parang ginaya lang talaga si 030 series. They have totally improved on from one of their most successful series na smartphone. Now, going back sa likod niya, nakita niyo ba yan? There are one, two, three cameras at the back. 108MP po yan. OIS. Super zoom. And by the way, meron siyang three times lossless zoom daw. And you even get this LED light at the back na circular. Na ang tawag dito ay active halo, sabi ni Infinix. This active halo does two things. Dun sa outer portion is yung kanyang flash Light, which is sobrang lakas. Uy, meron din siyang flashlight sa harapan. Look at this. Pwedeng both. Wow. Meron siyang option dito ng tatlo. Pwedeng sa likod, sa harap. Pwedeng both. Mechanical approved. Guys, meron daw siyang special certification. Level 3 ng mga mechanical. The joke lang. Now, the other thing that this thing does is yung kanyang RGB lighting. Ayun. Lalabas na kapag ka nag-charge, kapag may notification, at kapag ginagamit mo yung kanyang AI assistant. Now, sa buttons and ports niya, got a power button sa right side, volume rocker sa taas niya, and it's got JBL speakers right here sa taas at sa baba, dual speakers po siya. May microphone po sa taas, at meron pa siyang IR blaster. Plus, may NFC pa siya. Kaya pala, kinakabahan na si Xiaomi. Kasi si Xiaomi lang merong IR blaster. Now, si Infinix din. You can even turn on the TV using the phone. Oh my god. Turn off. Boom. Magic. So ito na yung pinaka-exciting na part yung display niya. 6.78 inch 1080p high resolution display na mayroong 120Hz refresh rate plus 1,500Hz touch sampling rate pa yan. And up to 1,300 Uy, kaya pala sobrang bright niya. Peak brightness. Meron siyang 10-bit color depth. 2160Hz PWM dimming. Tapos low light certified siya ni TUV Rainland. So, unang ko napansin is yung kanyang sobrang bright na display. Grabe yung color, grabe yung contrast. Everything that you will ever see on the display will just blow you away. Yung mga whites, very white. We're also getting deep blacks right here. Tapos sa gaming, ito na po, gumagana ba yung kanyang sides? Good news, yes. Wala po siyang problema sa shop. Walang problema sa mga gilid na buttons. It's a very big deal for all you gamers out there na nagbabalak na bumili ng phone na to. Na hindi pa pwedeng sabihin yung kanyang settings dito, bawal pa daw. Kasi hindi pa siya hinog, guys. I-optimize pa to ni Moonton, ni Infinix, next month po to lalabas sa ating bansa mismo. Pati ang tuto, bawal pang sabihin. But everything right now feels very zippy, very smooth, 120Hz refresh rate, and yes, tuto po yung chismis, 1,500. Well, not really sure kung 1,500, pero in terms of how we used it, very responsive, okay siya pang combo ng mga assassin, pang pro level yung kanyang display talaga. Na curve at the same time. Ito naman itsura ng uh, Call of Duty. Malaking advantage yung kanyang uh, dual speakers for that better immersion. Nice. Pero ang pinakamalaking advantage talaga ng phone na to that is revolutionizing the game which is yung charging niya. Now aside from the very fast 100 watt fast charging na wired, ito yung game changer. This will technically double or triple your battery life kapag ka meron malaking malakas na power bank. Natry ko din to gumana siya sa iPhone ko. So, it will actually still work on this phone, even yung mga power bank ni Apple. Also, na try namin guys sa Mobile Legends, sa maglalaro kami, very comfortable siya. Hindi siya awkward gamitin. Ang na discover namin is yung convenience niya talaga is sobra nakakatulong sa inyo. Now, you don't have to be plugged into an outlet to mambay ka doon. You can actually go to the CR, to your bed, na walang wire. Ito yung true wireless charging experience. Wala talagang wire, dapat kahit saan, kahit anong oras, nag-charge siya. And this kind of technology is only available, I think, sa mga Apple iPhones, which is kailang mag-shell out ng napakalaking pera. 70K for the iPhone 15. But this one, ito, ito na ang pinaka-accessible na ganitong technology kasi mid-range lang po siya. Mid-range pricing lang po. Not sure kung ano pa yung price, pero for sure. 11K, 12K. Now, speak of the charging, meron daw siyang bypass charging 2.0, which allows you to charge the phone directly while bypassing the battery itself. Ibig sabihin, hindi niya charge yung battery. Diretso niyang pinapower yung motherboard, yung kanyang processor from the outlet na. And the most important benefit of that is yung kanyang cooling. With bypass charging 2.0, this will let you play games, use your phone at lower temperatures. 4.5 degrees lesser daw siya kapag ka nag-bypass charging ka. Ang cons lang, kailangan mo nakadikit sa outlet. Pag <laughs> meron siyang OT TG wired charging at meron siyang wireless charging kapag dinikit mo yung dalawang Infinix Note 40 Pro Plus 5G sa likod eh no? This phone is all about the charging. Mas malupit pa yung charging niya kasi sa iPhone itself. O pala, 
charging. Ano ba yung battery nito? 4,600 mAh daw po yung kanyang battery. Which is okay lang. Feeling ko ginawa na ito para mas maging sexy pa yung phone. Sobrang sexy kasi niya. Now in terms of the camera, 108MP triple camera at the back siya. Meron pa siyang dalawang 2MP sensor. Hindi ko alam kung ano yan. Walang sinabi si Infinix. Pero meron siyang 32MP selfie camera. Na ganito yung tura. Now in terms of the image quality of the 108MP camera, kapag okay yung lighting, magandang maganda siya. Very clear, very detailed, maganda yung skin tones. As well na naayos na nila, para siyang no 30 VIP, no? Okay na yung kanyang white balancing, hindi na weird yung colors. And this is the beautiful Patronus Tower. Patronus! Expecto Patronus! Petroleum Patronus! Expecto Patronus! <laughs> 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 Yan, so, andiyan yung asawa ko sa likod. Tinatawanan ako. Grabe, oh, kahit mag-zoom in ka, sobrang klaro pa rin niya. Sheesh! This is a very sharp sensor. Infinix is truly improving their cameras. Before, medyo, mm, Infinix, ah, di camera yan. Gaming yan. Ngayon, pag dinig mo Infinix, pwede bang gamitin mo yung Infinix wag yung iPhone? Huh? Pwede mo bang wag gamitin yung Sony mo or Leica? Yung Infinix na lang. Ay, <laughs> Maraming magagalit. Ito naman yung power ng 3 times lossless zoom niya. Oh, pwede ka mag-portrait shot. Even though it does not have a portrait, super portrait lens, like the other brands or a telephoto lens, pwede ka mag portrait dito with a 3 times lossless zoom you will still get very sharp detailed photos kahit naka zoomed in kasi digital guys pag zoomin na yan malabo na eto klarong klaro pa rin now sa full review ko na ipapakita lahat kasi nga hindi pa daw siya full in terms of optimization video syempre gaming lahat makita niyo pati ang tutu benchmarks sa aking full review sa April but for now dito na muna tayo and so far sobrang nabo-blown away ako kay Infinix Note 40 Pro plus 5G ganito dapat tama ang ginagawa mo Infinix ganito dapat this is true innovation hindi yung paganda na ng camera kasi nga sa Philippines talaga gaming talaga habol ng mga tao mga Gen Z do you want a gaming phone a nice gaming phone that will help them improve the battery mas ablis yung charging guys ang pinaka advantage talaga ng charging is it will give you more time to do more stuff away from the wall or outlet mas marami kang time jumebs or mas marami kang time mag video call with your loved one ito pa lang oh habang nag video call kayo babes bakit ang tagal maubos ng battery mo siya na, na yung ano battery niya nakatulog na siya di ba ka full charge ka pa rin oh. sobra yung kapit niya matatanggal lang talaga siya kapag ka nasobran ka sa JBL yung speaker ha pero tama na yan hindi <laughs> natin yung kanya full review coming soon kaya mag subscribe ka na hit ba like on so that you don't miss any of my great content from sa Beans and you're watching Unbox Series huhu